Greetings friends and family and welcome to another Rise Magic video. Today we're going to go over 10 awesome gifts that you can give to the magician or cardist in your life. Or if you're a magician and cardist, you could send this video to your friends and family and say, hey, I'd like some of the stuff in this list because, you know, I'm a cardist slash and or magician, probably both. And I like these sort of things. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to go over some awesome gifts. Also, if you're a parent or significant other who is watching this link because they sent the link to you, just like I mentioned, they have great taste. Let me tell you, you did a great job either raising them or having an influence in their life because they have great taste in YouTubers, if I do say so myself. Merry Christmas. What I would say is an absolute go-to gift for any magician would be playing cards in bulk. I don't mean any of the uh, custom fancy decks, but I do mean bulk, normal, standard decks, such as Tally ho, bicycles, things of the sort. Now with buying these in bulk because they're so cheap, you can enable your magician friend, or you, to uh, practice without fear of dropping or ruining cards, as well as uh, make gimmicks, experiment, do folds, uh, tear off corners of the cards for tricks, and just do whatever they want with them without having to worry about running out of decks of cards. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. A close-up pad is a phenomenal gift for any magician or cardist out there. You see there's lots of tabled slights and moves that you need kind of a soft surface for. Now in real life you might not always have that soft surface, but when you're learning it's very nice to practice on that soft surface and it's very good for your cards. You could go the expensive route and get a really amazing close-up pad from websites like Art of Play, but in my case something I've done is go to Amazon and buy a really large mouse pad and it does a great job imitating a close-up pad while not being too soft and more realistic to what you're gonna get in real life. There are links in the description to close-up pads on Art of Play's website. Those are a little more of the expensive side, but like I said, the Massive Mouse Pad is a great alternative. It's something I personally use. I feel like it's more realistic to the harder surfaces you're gonna be dealing with when you're performing magic in real life, just not practicing in your room. So yeah, they're, they're pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll definitely leave that link in the description as well. That's the route I would go. I think you're cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. Now for the magician who has a strong desire to learn and is excited about learning more about magic, I would highly recommend magic books. Now, I would recommend these just because they're so general and there's usually so much packed into them. Two of the books that I personally enjoy, I don't have them because I actually lent them out to friends who are learning magic. Uh, is Paul Curry's Worlds Beyond, as well as the expert at the card table. Now there are plenty of other great options that we will link in the description below. Now the great thing about these is that they aren't gonna be just one trick. They're gonna be a bunch of tricks and resources that they can use to learn and develop as a magician. And they can always have them look through them, learn, read. They're just phenomenal. And on to the next one. What's that? Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. The invisible deck is hands down the best magic gimmick out there. I will stake my reputation on it. It is that great of a trick, super easy to perform, incredible gimmick. Every magician needs an invisible deck in my opinion. It's a great fallback on any trick and it is an absolute showstopper. Of course, we have our own Tally Ho invisible decks custom made on rise-magic.com. But I know that the key to the invisible deck is having a deck that matches your normal deck because it is a gimmick. So that's why I started making the Tally Ho ones to match people with Tally Ho's. But if you have bicycles, you can get a bicycle invisible deck just as easily. Go ahead and check the link in the description for the bicycle invisible decks and for the custom made Tally Ho invisible decks. If you want more information on what exactly the invisible deck trick is, I'm gonna show you this video from last year. It's linked in the description. By the way, we, we gotta communicate more guys because that thing that was on my face this time last year was a big L. However, I do have to say, keep in mind, if you order from rise-magic.com and get that invisible deck, or any deck for that matter, you're gonna get a Rise Magic sticker in the mail along with your order, and if you do the invisible deck, you're also gonna get that nice, long instructional video that teaches you everything you need to know about the invisible deck, not only how to use it, but also a ton of awesome ways to perform it. It's a great video, and I think it's worth your while. You can actually purchase the video without the deck. You'll see it all on our website. At the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. 
Now this next accessory is a phenomenal gift for any card lover in your life, and that would be a card clip. Unfortunately, Chandler stole mine because he does that with all my stuff. Guilty. It's essentially just a sandwich of metal that goes around your card box that help keep your cards flat, protect the box, as well as look good. Chandler, please give it back, and uh, on to the next one. This is yours? Wow. I believe. This one is for all you thrifty people out there. We have an incredible deck display holder. Look at this thing. Bam. Over a hundred cards are displayed. And what's crazy about this, you won't believe it, it cost me five dollars. That's right, I got this entire deck display for five dollars. You see it in the background of almost every single one of our recent videos. I actually got it on Facebook Marketplace for that cheap of a price because in its former life, this stored tape cassettes. So if you're really looking for a thrifty, cheap gift for your magician slash car's friend or something to ask for, if you search on like Craigslist, you know, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or even Amazon, you can find these tape cassette holders. I'll leave some links in the description in case you wanna know what I'm talking about. But I also made an entire video on how to obtain one of these. And in fact, two to three weeks after I posted that video, both Chris Ramsey and Peter McKinnon started displaying their decks with the cassette tape holder on their desks. So that begs the question, do Chris Ramsey and Peter McKinnon watch Rise Magic videos? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But if by any chance Chris and Peter are watching this video, I am a huge fan. Literally, I'm a big, physically, I'm physically six foot nine. I'm pro, I'm a huge fan in physical size. Hit me up. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. Another phenomenal gift idea would be just a nice notebook. These are two that I have and I use all the time. This one right here was given to me over the summer by a good friend, and I use it all the time. This is another one I got for myself years ago, and inside here I just have uh, different tricks, designs, uh, just random thoughts. I find it a lot easier to write in here and get down ideas than I would in, as a notepad and a phone. Plus, they're super aesthetic, they look nice, and they go great on a shelf, which is why I always have them right up here within this arm's reach, just looking nice and pretty and being a nice prop as well. Dual purpose. Why are you smiling like that? I just like to smile, smiling's my favorite. Every magician or carist out there loves a brand new custom deck with a cool design and amazing handling. Everyone just loves a new deck, so if you're looking for a gift idea, a custom deck is a great way to go. Of course, gotta plug, you know, we have amazing custom decks on rise-magic.com fast shipping, all those sorts of things. Mm. But I don't wanna make this video all an advertisement. Obviously, I would very much appreciate it if you order your decks from rise-magic.com. You're gonna get a handwritten letter from myself, the sticker, and reasonably fast shipping. I say that because I'm obviously not amazon.com. I can't do two-day guaranteed shipping. But when I get the email receiving your order, I send out the deck the same day with the handwritten letter, the sticker, and your order. So there should be a good chance. I obviously can't guarantee it because I'm not USPS that if you're in the United States and order a package that it will definitely get here before Christmas, I would say if you order before the end of next week. But what I was trying to say is it's not all about our site. Obviously you can get incredibly beautiful decks that your significant other who performs magic, your friend who performs magic, yourself who performs magic, or cardistry for any of those will absolutely love on theory11.com, illusionist.com, and artofplay.com all have incredible decks. God bless us, everyone. Now lastly, this is a Rise Magic exclusive stamp of approval. We think it's necessary for every magician, and not just every magician, but everyone in general to own. And that is flossers. Now I personally prefer the twin line just because you got double the floss for double the clean. It'll really get in there, get in some of that gunk that's in between your teeth. And the last thing you want while performing or even socializing, or talking to anyone who you might want to impress. There's something sticking in between your teeth. I made sure to floss right before I film in this video, as well as brush my teeth, because you can never be too safe. You can't be on YouTube with uh, something stuck in between your teeth, you know. Always stay strapped. Floss is a great gift, and if they don't like it, tell them Rise Magic sent you and told you to give them floss, and then hopefully they won't be upset with you anymore. And I don't have horses, but please take this, my Viking friend. Eat one of these, my Viking friend. They are for Santa. 
Lastly, we have Revolution by Gregory Wilson. This is one of my favorite magic gimmicks of all time. It has tons of applications, both for just showing off and you can use it for magic effects. Obviously, it gives you the ability to make it appear that you can spin a playing card in your finger absolutely forever. And you can do it with a box of cards like I used to do on Instagram, I'll show you right here. But it is sold out on a lot of magic websites. I did find some links where it's still available, so go ahead and check it out via the link in the description. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Those are 10 awesome gifts that you could gift any cards or magician in your life. Or, you know, like I said, if you want to be a little sly, be a little smart, and, you know, copy and paste this link and send it to your parents or your friends and say, hey, man, this guy's got some great points. You might end up receiving some of these in your stocking or under the tree or, you know, however you receive gifts. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Don't forget, we have a huge giveaway going on the channel. Three decks of cards up for grabs. I'll leave the link in the description so you make sure to enter that giveaway. It's really easy to enter. And you could win three decks of cards for Christmas. Winners announced December 20th. I'll see you guys in the coming weeks. We have great videos planned for all of your Christmas slash holiday break. See you guys then. Peace.